If anything, maybe that statement wasn't tough enough. And we're backed by 100 percent by our military. We're backed by everybody. And we're backed by many other leaders. And I noticed that many senators and others today came out very much in favor of what I said. But if anything, that statement may not be tough enough. What would be tougher than firing Kerry? Well, you'll see. You'll see. But I can tell you that what they've been doing and what they've been getting away with is a tragedy. best not make any more threats to the United States, they will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal statement. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Thank you. Thank you.
In the wake of a successful launch three weeks ago, North Korea today firing a second long-range missile. The missile aloft for around 45 minutes, 2,300 miles up, and landing in the waters off Japan, about 620 miles from its launch. The alarming advance, if shot toward the U.S., could likely reach not only the U.S. West Coast, but some experts say even Denver or Chicago. A serious challenge to President Trump. This ought to get his attention that uh, the North is not in interested in doing something diplomatically. They want to have a nuclear weapons capability which can threaten the United States. The Pentagon has been firing missile defense tests from Alaska, but they are not foolproof. And Kim Jong-un's nuclear team is making alarming progress on the next critical step, producing a nuclear warhead small enough to be mounted on an ICBM and withstand the heat of re-entry into the atmosphere. But a recent defense intelligence analysis said they could conquer that challenge as soon as next year. What's really missing here, Andrea, is an entire team in a Trump administration that is focused on solving this problem, using all of the tools in our toolbox, military, diplomatic, intelligence, cyber, uh, treasury sanctions. And tonight, in a show of force, the U.S. and South Korea have staged a joint ballistic missile test in response. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Joe Dunford, called his South Korean counterpart to discuss military options. And just now, the president has released a statement saying the United States will take all necessary steps to ensure the security of the American homeland and protect our allies in the region.